Hey there guys, Paul back with another quick lesson in the No Mod Shop class here on the School Zone. Still working diligently on the Total Immersion Tour as well as the deep dive into the rug glitch, both of which are complex videos. But I want to stay on track with my goal of posting videos this month every day or every other day to keep, you know, the flow going. Not all videos are created equal, you know. Sometimes a video that's like 20 minutes long happens to be much easier to make than a video that's only 5 minutes long. Just depends on the complexity of the subject. But that's cool because I have so many fast fascinating topics I want to cover in this mini-series, and I can just post some of the easier videos to make while I work on the harder ones. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your very own glowing green wolf for your settlement, just like Brandy here behind me. This will be our first green circle lesson because it's super easy to do and doesn't even require any building. But it's extremely cool and adds a neat element to your settlement. And of course, no mods required. You will need the Far Harbor DLC though. In fact, a lot of what I'll be going through in these upcoming lessons require the various Fallout 4 DLC. But seriously, you know, if you're a fan of Fallout 4, it's, it's money well spent. Before we begin, this video is actually a sequel to a video I posted last year on how to get your very own pet wolf for your settlement. Probably a lot of you have already seen that video, but if you haven't, you're going to want to pause this video and check out that video first. I go into all the details you need to know about where to go, how to interact with a dog breeder, and the right dialogue options to follow to make this happen. Links in the description below in the ad card above. That way, I can just save time for myself here as well as the people who have already seen that video and just skip to the sequel stuff. So real quick before we head over there, not only is this glowing green wolf extremely cool looking and fun to have wandering around your settlement, but it also adds a whopping 8 defense to your defense rating, as well as your settlement happiness. I'll show you real quick. See? There you go. I think junkyard dogs only add 5. The only pet that adds more than that are the synth gorillas, I think, and you gotta get close to the end of the game to get those. The only downside to the glowing mutant wolf here is that if you brush up against them, you'll pick up a couple of rats. See, I'll head over and pet Brandy real quick. Oops. <laughs> She's like, sorry boss, can't help it. <laughs> It's not really that big of a deal, but every once in a blue moon, one of your settlers might take that the wrong way, you know, and start a fight with your pet. It happens extremely rarely, so it's not really something to worry about. But just in case, you might want to build your doghouse slightly out of the way from the rest of the settlers. Now, the wolf might not actually sleep inside the doghouse because, well, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess they're not used to domestication. But they, <laughs> she's like, are you talking about me? But they will head over to where it is and sit in front of it and be like, hmm, that looks really comfortable. I should probably sleep in there, but I'm a wild animal, so I'll just stare at it. <laughs> anyway, they're a lot of fun and they're killer in a fight. My settlement here has only been attacked twice and both times Brandy has darted right into the fight and tackled the raiders and torn them to pieces. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is skip ahead to where you want to go and then see if old Erickson has a new selection for us. And I'll explain what I mean by that. Again, click on the original video for all the details I've already covered. Okay, so we are over here at the wreck now. I'm just going to head over and see if Erickson's available and see what kind of new selection we have here. There we go. Okay, so we have a new glowing green wolf. I won't talk to him just yet. Let's see what this one is named. This one's named Jaws. Oh my God, I've got to buy this one. Okay. I wasn't going to buy it. I was just going to show you guys, but now I have to buy it. That is awesome. <laughs> Jaws. That is great. These are still the same. Yep, Duke and this one over here should be Gracie. Yep, okay. So real quick, uh, the way this works is, is that there's three selection slots, okay? You have a junkyard dog, a mutant hound, and a wolf. And once you purchase any of these and then come back a while later, you know, maybe even a few levels later or something, then uh, Erickson here will have filled the new slot with a, a new dog that's been bred. So there's always going to be three selections that you have of those categories. So what you want to do the first time you head over here is buy the regular wolf and send it to one of your settlements. It'll usually be uh, Mishka, I think. And uh, then you come back a little while later and there's going to be a new selection for you. Now, I should say, uh, just to give you a caveat in case it doesn't work the first time for you, 
uh, the type of wolf you get is going to be dependent a little bit on your level. So if you're kind of lower level and you come over and you purchase a wolf and you come back later, you may just find there's another regular wolf in that new selection slot. So if you don't see the glowing green wolf, you may have to gain a few levels first. But if you're high enough level and you've purchased a, uh, a regular wolf, you come back and you should then uh, a little later have a glowing green wolf at your disposal. So we're gonna head over and, and buy this bad boy. Oh my gosh, Jaws, that is classic. Okay, nope, don't get up yet, bud. Uh, you hungry? Here, have this. Well, that was nice of you. I was interested in buying one of your guard dogs. Which one would... Okay. So, like I mentioned in the first video, you're going to want to know the names of the dogs before you purchase them because it's not going to tell you the type. But since I just took a look at the one I want, I'm going to purchase Jaws. And uh, I believe he charges 250 caps no matter what your charisma or persuasion level is. So I don't think I need to put on any uh, charisma clothing. It's just going to be 250 caps anytime. So let's go ahead and purchase Jaws. I'd like to buy the wolf. Where did you want it to guard? All right, where should we have a guard? You know what? Jaws sounds like the perfect place for Spectacle Island. <laughs> All right, so I haven't built much there yet, but uh, I will. So we're going to go ahead and send Jaws over there. That's awesome. Treat them right, and they'll do the same for you. Okay, so then uh, Jaws will have run off. Yep, if you saw him way down there. Here, let's run after him real quick. Wow, he's fast. I don't even know where he went. But anyway, he ran off to Spectacle Island, and uh, a short while later, uh, he will appear over there. And uh, I haven't set up a doghouse there yet, so he's probably just going to wander around the island, which is perfectly fine. He'll kind of keep the place safe while I work on uh, getting around and building some stuff. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's how you uh, get that glowing green wolf for your settlement that you guys saw in my original Vault 42 tour. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask below. Really appreciate the uh, great feedback and the comments I've been getting on these uh, videos in the Nomad Shop class. You guys have just been totally awesome. In fact, some of the comments that you guys left have inspired me to add some more topics to my syllabus for this mini series. So I appreciate that. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video, short and sweet. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? hit that subscribe button and get notified when these videos drop by hitting that bell notification. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram and share this video around anyone you know who might be interested. Really appreciate it. We'll see you back next time for the next lesson. Happy building. Class dismissed.